something golden found a light on a hill i was waking up looking for peace and all of us divided got a hold on tight when you find it i was turning around i was waking up you're pulling me right in rolls me to you again i'll live the rest of my life by your side matters on gray days i live in your laughter i collide with your heart i'm seeing stars i let go of the past i know this too shall last now i've been waiting all day to let you know that i want to stay here forever playing it on my radio don't see how it could be better It's a new day. That means more virtual football. How's everyone doing? Thank you. 
Let's let's make it snow. It's snowing today. I don't care about one try. Get out of here. There we go. And I won't forget the sub ratings. I won't forget the sub ratings. I won't forget the sub ratings. Nice. I tuned it right so that the song ends when we cut to the game. Awesome. Everything's going hunky dory. But yeah, how, how's everyone doing? It's been another week, so probably a lot of new stuff happening in your lives and whatnot. So, but yeah, I see that uh, Baba Tunde in the chat is doing wonders, running a lot, and doing it for a good cause so happy to see that so hopefully hopefully it continues to go well but yes we're under we're just about ready to go underway again and um, well we're, we're at a very interesting position Griffins are currently up first uh, Eshdan are in second. There's a bit of a point gap between the two teams, but a win for Eshdan would close the gap very much. So, I'll be very interested to see how how this match plays out. And it's snowing, so we'll see a lot of fun wintry stuff. House got flared. Oh boy, that doesn't sound like a good fun time. Sorry about that, Fred. Hopefully things get uh, things get okay pretty quickly. It's bounced about around a bit. Oh, Fred, always oh, gonna send it in. Ah, uh, that is who's looking good after the plastic surgery appointment. It's an early chance for the Griffins, but that's not testing Kabiri anytime soon. So yeah, lots of love, Fred. Hopefully things get better soon. Um, yeah. Take it easy. I'm so happy I've reached $120. Nice! Man, that's awesome. Congrats. Hopefully hopefully things continue to, to go well. What if what how what has your experience been so far? Like in terms of you know running, is that something that you were used to before? Is that something new? Is there anything you're like struggling with? Because I know, um, I know when I played football on the football team in, in high school, I admittedly wasn't the most active person. So definitely like making sure that I was like giving it my all and like making sure that I was running a lot definitely was something that I struggled with because I was like, God, I'm so tired. Yeah. What's the celebration decision? Um, yeah, so the decision, I guess, is that uh, we definitely are going to make them happen. But I still don't know if it's going to be like something like a first come, first serve, or people like fill out a form with like priorities. Like, I want, like, these are the top five that I want. And then if each player should have their own or it's okay if like a, a player has two players have the same like celebration so i don't know there's still there's still that more to discuss but it looks like player celebrations are on their way and jekyll torres is in the box oh jekyll torres out of nowhere has crawled through the through the middle through the midfield and he hit the ball but it hit the crossbar unfortunately and it could have very easily been one nail for eshtahan Good tackle from Trey Lumen, Baba Tunde. Yeah. I had a good week, no pain or anything. That's good. So the recovery is going well, which is good to hear. Oh, what a pass to Powell! 
And then another save, routine save by Lehman. It looks like Eshtahan are keen on getting that first goal and strike first. We'll see how the Griffins respond. I think this will be the I think this will be a real challenge for the Griffins today. Good dribbling from Fred. And Eshtahan have recovered it nicely. I like I like that they're playing down the middle like that, Eshtahan. Yep, we are under new management now. Lee Ryu Jong has taken over as head coach. Virginia Emmett has bowed out. And what a pass to Virginia Emmett! Oh! Again, they're playing down the midfield. I love, I love this for Eshtahan. They're really playing to their strengths. But unfortunately, Virginia Emmett had a strike that just curled off target. Yeah, it looks like Eshdan might get the, might be, I don't know, the favorites to get the first goal today. We'll see. Here's Bieber. Bieber tried from distance. It was deflected of Nandes. In response to your question, I think it's a bit easier than I expected to be consistent. I played football until about a year or so ago, but my fitness was never that good. I see, I see. Yeah, well, I, I, that's, I think, like, that's an important part of, like, the the process as well. Because, like, sure, you're, you're, like, doing these things um, for charity and, like, doing it for a good cause. I'm sure there's, like, official stuff you have to do, like, like fill out forms and things like that. But also the personal part is, like, super important as well. Like, the, like your development, like how you feel when you're running like because that's important to keep in mind too like because obviously you'll get tired and obviously like you'll be like oh god i don't i don't want to keep running but you know it's an it's an important thing to to keep in mind because you know doing it for a good cause so it's an important part for personal development as well oh what a pass to pettis and pettis from distance kabiri covers it up nicely I'm starting to see results. That's always good. Progress is always good. There's the, there's the goofy emoji with the chomp fingers. God, I love that. Maybe I sh maybe I should add that to the server. This has been an amazing match so far. Very action packed. Mourinho back to Kabiri. Soboslai. Oh, he's going to poke it out. Out wide to Hernandez. Hernandez, Pérez. Pérez is going to whip it in. And Fred with another header. Kabiri elects to just push it out for a corner. So the Griffins will get a good chance here. Good header away from B. Rob. Oh, great interception from Baba Tunde. It looks like they aren't able to consolidate something. It's going to be edged down once again. Regina Emmett. Regina Emmett is playing in the left winger position. That's not a role we've, we're used to seeing him in, so I'm really interested to see how he does. You know, Regina Emmett normally plays in the attacking midfield position, center midfield, but never up front, especially down the wing. So, yeah, I'll be really interested to see to see how he does there. It's been great to make a difference. It really has been beneficial on a personal level, which is a plus. That's good. That's good to see. Is is the uh, is the dugout like covered in snow? Do you guys see that? Like on the bottom right corner? Like, it, do you guys think it's covered in snow? If so, that's an amazing detail. Good cross. Chess. Chess with the header, but like many headers we've seen, it goes straight up. 
Oh, red card for Everton. Uh oh. Oh, great stuff from Tyler Adams. We're going to pressure Griffins here. Oh, Virginia Emmett. Oh. The dugout looks frosted over. Yeah, or maybe, I don't know, maybe because I did select it to snow. But I don't know. Oh, what a pass to Chris Powell. Chris Powell, Chris Powell. That one, unfortunately, was straight at Lehman, but they are getting their chances. I like this match. Ejana really, really, uh, are really pushing Griffins with this one. And Chris Powell's going to make his way up the wing again. Pettis isn't able to win it back from him. Oh, but he resorts to a nasty tackle. That's going to be a yellow card. First one on the book. Should be a good chance for Ejtahan. Jekyll Torres. And another header. Also, I think I pointed this out before, but if you look at the JPEG fans, you'll notice that they're all wearing winter gear. So they're wearing like caps and scarves and coats. And then uh, later on when we when we switch it back to, to warm weather, you'll see that... Uh, that they're wearing like t-shirts so again amazing level of detail I pointed that out like a long time ago but yeah I still think it's worthy to worthy to point out oh Lee Ryu Jong wins it nicely Tyler Adams this could be good for Edge Don Back to Jekyll Torres. Virginia Emmett down the midfield. Virginia Emmett. <gasps> Tyler Adams. Oh, Tyler Adams. That one was the clearest opportunity. And he belted it straight at Laban once again. Oh, good pass from Sobo Slider. Hernandez on the wing. Oh, Fred. B. Rob elects to clear it. Leo Bieber. Fred! Fred, Fred, Fred. We're jo oh my goodness, we're already almost at the end of the first half. It's still goalless, but I think Ejjan have been the closer ones. Chess. Oh, what a pass to Chris Powell. <gasps> dude, dude, it's in. It's in. It's bungled in. Chester Chess makes it 1-0 and breaks the deadlock. Griffiths have unbelievably finally conceded this season. What an effort from Ejtahan. And it's 1-0 Ejtahan. Now that's interesting. I don't know if that came off of someone else. Let's see. Can I rewind this? Nope. Oh, well, I guess not. It's 1-0. Ejdahan things have gone very interesting now. I think the defender deflected it. Yeah, that's that's my idea too. So I don't know. I don't think it's an own goal. So I think I'll go ahead and give it to Chess. Ooh, Cabral. Cabral's powering forward. Sobo Slay at the edge of the box.
Cabral. Babatunde. Oh, good stuff from B-Rob. Big Robbo. Birthday man. It's his birthday, by the way, so make sure to send him lots of birthday love and birthday wishes. Going to the break with a temporary Eshtahan lead. I think that's a fair result. Eshtahan have really gone and pushed it this first half to get something. The way they scored was a bit wonky, but let's see. Hmm. Ah, oh, yeah, I can't tell. Maybe here. Ah, yeah, I can't tell. Well, well, I'll, I think I will go ahead and give it to Chess then. And Virginia Evan will get the assist after the assist from his chin. Wait for it to loop around so I can write down the minute. I think it was like 43rd. Nope, 44. All right. So I need to go ahead and fix that. Oh wait, maybe here from this angle. Oh, that's really hard to tell. No, I think it is Chess's. Yeah, I can't tell. Alright. Let's move on to the second half. Eshan have had more chances up front. But the possession has been pretty even. So let's go ahead and move on into the second half. Here's Lee Ryu Jong. If, if they get a second one early into the second half, it becomes a very interesting prospect. But Fred, Fred, ooh, cuts back from Nadine. Yo, Fred! Fred again! Oh! Fred almost had the chance to get the equalizer. Ah, but he puts that one just wide. That could have been very, very good for the Rovers. Or the Rovers, the Griffins. <laughs> Chris Powell wins it. Not for long, though. But maybe they've won it back. Never mind. Can we get some uh, emoji chomp fingers in the chat, please? <laughs> What's that one? That one's like he's covering his eyeballs. <laughs> Oh, that was a really good effort from Virginia Emmett, but again, straight at Lehman. Hand orange covering eyes, I don't think he did that right. Oh, the the name of the emoji. Got it. Man, let me take a let me see if I can go live on my own live and then see what the emojis available are.
Oh, there's so many. Oh, God. I love those. I think we should add them to the server. Oh, here's Hernandez. Oh, cuts back from loot. Hernandez. Hernandez, Hernandez. It right, falls to everybody. Cabral picks it up. Another ball in. And it goes to everybody again. Sobo Sly. Another cross in. And it, this time it doesn't not go through everybody. But Cabral's going to pick it up. Cabral's in the box. And a great tackle from Virginia Emmett. Santos picks it up again. Oh, it was a poor pass from Santos. <laughs> there it is, the emoji chomp. Tyler Adams. What a pass to Chess! What a pass! What a goal! Chess gets his second goal of the game from his head again. And as Jean lead with a much more comfortable a score line of 2-0. But what a pass that was from Tyler Adams. Picked that one out. Brilliant piece of uh, team play from Eshtahan. And it's 2-0. We'll see. How do the Griffins respond? There's still uh, still some uh, some 30 minutes and plus to go. Lee Liu Jong is going to run unopposed. Tyler Adams. Oh, good interception from Pettis. That's what they need. Griffins need that. Good stuff from Sobo Slide. Hernandez. Oh, and he was fouled, so it's going to be a free kick. Bebe tried from distance. He's going to take a deflection. Oh, what's with Hernandez? Oh. If he had just been a, a, a second faster, he might have had a chance there. Virginia Emmett. Routine clearance for Pettis. Chess finds Adams. Adams, great pass to the wing. Virginia Emmett. able to do much there. B Rob wins it back. Good tackle from Santos. Virginia Emmett. No. Santos isn't able to take it away from him. Virginia Emmett's gonna cut in. Chess in the box. They take it away. Nasty tackle from Soboslai. I think it's going to be a yellow card for him. It will be. Yeah, he just can't go lunging in like that. It's always going to be a yellow card. I mean, it could have even been red. Babatunde is going to come off for Armiento. Jekyll Torres. Oh, good dribbling from Jekyll Torres, but even better defensive work from Leo Bieber. Good tackle from Fred. Good defensive work. Fred's keen on pulling one back. Oh, Fred's through. Oh, good stuff from Fred. Great stuff from Fred. Cabral. Cabral's going to move in. Cabral! It hits the post and it's in! Dave Cloud won back. What a strike from Cabral. 
In off the post. What a strike. Really, what a strike from João Cabral. Captain Cabral. And they pulled one back. And things are about to get a lot more interesting now. Cabral's goal. Puts the team at only a one goal deficit now. Alright, this is what I want to see. We have a match on our hands. Oh, Chess. Chess is moving in. Chess scores! Right back. They pulled one back right away. And Chess will get his third goal of the day today. Hat trick. Hat trick for Chester Chess. Man, what a game this is. What a strike as well from Chess. It's 1-3, my word. What a game. What a game. Here come the Griffins. Good stuff from Nerino to win the ball back. Now things are getting really complicated for the Griffins. Gonzalez, who's been subbed on. He's going to make his way up, but Lud wins it nicely. Oh yeah, and about the player celebrations, there's, al there's also an idea thrown around that like those with the most goals should get priority since we'll see more of them, since we're more likely to see more of them celebrate. But yeah, that's another idea being thrown around. Oh, what a pass to Chess! Oh, Chess getting a fourth goal would be ridiculous. Tyler Adams. Pettis wins it back. Some subs here. There he is, newly subbed on by Nina. Tell Adams to Nina. Lays it back to B Rob. Virginia has moved back to his natural position in the center midfield. What about attackers who have not scored yet? True, true. That's a good point. Alessio says, I think we can divide some celebrations. So they can be unique and some can be for everyone. Yeah, that's a good point. Like maybe it's a well effort that's off target, but it looks like there's going to be a corner for Griffins. I'll get to that comment right after this corner. That's going to be a goal kick. Tyler Adams has been subbed out for Neil Cook. But yeah, that's a good point, Alessio. I was... You know, an idea that came up into my mind right now is I was thinking maybe like we could have like a unique player celebration and then like a team celebration. So everybody on the team has like on the team has that one celebration plus the personal one that they choose. So that way they game, you know, it's random. So the game can either have the one that everybody does that's specific for that team or the uh, their personal one, which will be different for every player. So yeah, that 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 is that's an idea that I had. So maybe that could be something. Cabral, oh, this could be good for the Griffins. Cabral, 
Armiento uh, nudged away right at the end. Dude has come off for Marcellus. Yeah, okay, so I guess what we can do is like, uh, we can maybe like tier them, I guess, then like from basic to like extravagant and then like ridiculous celebrations, like the one where Kabiri's dancing. So that way we can like, uh, like, maybe like instead of doing like the unique one, we can have just everybody have the same one, but just like depending on who they are or where they play we can have them like be like the second one's like a basic one but the first one's like a more detailed one but right as i was talking there the match has come to an end it's a big big three points for eshtahan what a result for eshtahan yeah we'll continue talking about it until we all decide on something Songs of Banger, I love it. They pulled one back. It's gonna be an assist from Sobo Sly. Man, what a game this was. And then, not even a minute later, unfortunately, for the Griffins, Ashdown sealed the deal with Chester Chest getting. Uh, beautiful hat trick. And Tyler Adams getting a second assist of the game. What a player he is as well. Alright. What a game. I think this has been one of the, my favorite games this season so far. I hope you guys have enjoyed this one as well. Well, let's see, man of the match was given to Jekyll Taurus with an 8.5. That is crazy. Sub ratings, sub ratings, won't forget, won't forget. There you go, it's three subs for Griffins. Yeah, what do you guys think? I was thinking Chess, obviously one of them, but Jekyll Taurus with an 8.5. 31 passes made out of the 31 attempted. Eight interceptions. Man, what a game Jekyll Taurus had as well. So what do you guys think? I, it, I, it may, well, Tyler Adams was also massive, massive, massive today as well. He deserves to be in that conversation. Griffins, I think, were just un thoroughly outplayed by Eshton. So yeah, what do you guys think? I would say it's between Jekyll Torres, Tyler Adams, and Chester Chess. I would lean towards Chester Chess, but if you guys think Jekyll Torres might get it, I mean, an 8.5 really is massive, so. Give it to Chess, give it to Chess. Torres, Nerino, Chess, Chess. Can't ignore a hat trick, Chess. Kabiri, Ch Chess piece, nice. Corona, man, Corona is literally on the bus right now. He's on the bus to the stadium, he's goofball. He's not in the game. He's probably listening to his music. Probably some, what is it called, like rancheras or something? Alright, I think I will give it to Chess then. 
Congrats, Chester Chess, my man. Finally had a, uh, 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 a really great performance. I don't know why I said finally. But he had a massive, massive game today. And thus concludes, I think, probably one of the best matches we've had in a while. But we're going to run right into another great game. Dragoish will face Brimsdown Rovers. Man, what a game that might be turn out to be as well. And since the Dragoish play at the same stadium as well, we're gonna stay right where we are. This is a massive game as well for both of these teams. Who's e emailing me at 4.33 in the morning? Get out of here. Oh, it's my student loan. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> 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 it's information about my college student loan thing. Well, I should probably answer that one. I am not leaking my email, you fool. Although, fun story, uh, my first relationship that I had, like my first romantic relationship, it was... A while ago now, a, lo a while ago, um, and uh, I didn't have a phone, I had no form of social media, uh, she didn't have any form of social media either, so uh, we resorted to talking by email, so we would send emails to each other. Good times. Alright, but enough of that, nobody wants to hear that from me. Let's get into it, what we're really here for. The virtual men sweating and whatnot. Right guys? Oh, it's gonna be an early foul for someone. It's gonna be by Garcha. Andre Goish. Dragoish have interested, interestingly have played with basically the same formation, same tactics uh, created by some Floyd uh, who unfortunately has gone into the annals uh, for bad reasons <laughs> but they're still playing with the same tactics and it's still working out for them so it really is a testament to, to his skill but yeah Dragosh and Griffins, who are stacked up right next to each other as well. Uh, Rovers in third. Dragosh in fourth. Both teams will want to win this match after Griffins have dropped points. Jihoon, who always does so well on the wings. He's going to send it in. Ooh, Ar I almost called it Ardemi. Ardemi got ahead to it, but couldn't get too much direction on it. I think if he had a bit more control of it, that one definitely could have been a goal. Easy 3-0. Oh, we'll see, we'll see. Dragoish are not one to be scoffed at. They're a really good team. They didn't win last season for no reason, so. But we'll see, we'll see. It, it, it all depends on the day as well. Oh my gosh, it's really coming down outside. It's really raining. Ademi's in! Ademi puts it in! He caught me when I was looking at the rain. But that didn't matter to him. And he smacked it 
right into the back of the net. Flies past Trutsin. And Rovers lead. Yeah, he was virtually unopposed. For some reason, Pedro Cruz ran, ran away from Ademi when he should have been defending. He was like, wanted to approach him. He's like, oh, God, Ademi stinks. Get out. Oh, wait, no, I need to get the ball. Oh. And before then, it was too late. In the ninth minute, Ademi opens the score line. Who else but Ademi? Great player. Oh, but Fernando Rodriguez is in. Oh, that was a great pass to Ramirez. Let's see, where is the squiggly O? There you are. Imran. Oh, good defensive work to throw Imran off his track. Tom Price. Tom Price has been having a massive season with Dragoish. Maybe, maybe this is definitely one game that he'd have to step up. So maybe we'll see him do something. Great tackle from Garrett Hart. Leo Ferdinand. What a pass to Keeves. Great cross in. The ball falls to Shekeri. Lays it back to Jojo. Oh, Pashalic almost had it, but... Oh, Pashalic is with it again. There was a foul on the play there. Oh, yeah, and another thing. So, I think I'm feeling pretty good as well. So, right after the uh, VPL matches, I'll be heading right into the VCL matches. In a different stream, though. So, if you'd like, tune in. Ramirez finds Rodriguez on the wing. They're really liking that wing, Dragoish. Ooh! Oh! It wasn't the strongest of headers, but it crawls past Kask. And Tom Price gets his goal. Right as you were saying, Alessio. I feel like Price can have a really good game or a really bad one, but no in between. Maybe this is going to be one of those good ones. What a pass from Fernando Rodriguez. And Tom Price with the lightest of touches puts it right past Kask. And we're back in the middle of it all. Tom Price with the ball again. Tom Price. Oh, he cuts in. Tom Price. Oh. Well. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay, guys. He uh, he saw his he saw his grandma in the crowd, and he wanted to give her a little gift. That's always nice. Good guy, Tom Price. Shaketi, Shaketi, Shaketi. Are his hips going to lie? Very entertaining match day so far. I absolutely agree. This has been a huge, huge match day so far. Oh, Imran. Imran's in the box. Oh. Oh, my goodness. I thought that went in, but it hit the outside. I forget what it's called. The stanchion? That's what it's called, right? The, uh, the post that holds the net up. Shalich finds Kirs. Oh, Kirs. Oh, who's up there? 
Oh, that's unfortunate. That is unfortunate. Shaketi strike hit for Shalit Chin the knee. And the lantern was like, oh, oh, offsides. You need to check the Corona remix that he just made. There's a Corona remix? Man. Oh, great strike there. Get it out, get it out, get it out. Kirs! They didn't get it out. They didn't get it out. And Kirs will get a goal. I think this is Kirs' first goal ever in a Rovers jersey. I don't know why Dragos defenders didn't get it out. Cruz, that was Cruz. And Kirs puts it back in Rovers' favors. All right. <laughs> what a game this has been. Man, we're really enjoying it today. Good stuff from Kirs, though. You love to see it. Good team player, and they finally get their goal. Voice cracked like a million times there. But yeah, I, I'll need to check out this Zephy remix. Where is it? Where can I find it? Oh my goodness, god dang it, I was looking at, <laughs> I was looking at, <laughs> I was looking at Zeppi sleeping on his chair. You fools, you distracted me. Yes, Ademi scores. It's going to be an assist from Pashalic. Great cross in and what a header from Ademi. And it's 3-1 already. All right, 20, whoop, did I mean to send that? Let's see. It's in the 29th minute. Another goal from Ardit Ademi. Is my cap stuck on? There we go. Ramirez. He finds Rodriguez. Rodriguez is in the box. Oh, Cask had to bobble it for a second. Bobble league, if you will. Um, I itches. Ferdinand. Jojo. Jojo with another excellent cross. This time through Gene covers his lines well and picks it out out of the air. Man, I'm gonna have to check him out later then. Great pass to Gacha. Gacha shimmies his way. And Truchin slides to his left. And this time it's easy for him to catch. Bad positioning by Truchin on that one. Yeah, Truchin got a bit off his slide there. Kirs lays the ball up to Shakeri. Passing here from Dragos. Carrot Hart tries to whip it in.
Four goals in one half. Yeah, it's been nuts. We've had already... Eight, <laughs> I'm sorry. My throat closed up. We had eight goals today already, so... How about that? Season one feels like a long time ago. <laughs> I remember back in season one when... It didn't matter who scored. If someone scored, it was already means for celebration. And then he tries to slip it to Shaketi, but... What on earth? Okay. Dargosh need to get it out here. They're under pressure. Jafari Blackwood. Poked away by Kiris. Kiris has been having a massive game today. Gotcha. What a pass to Shaketi. Shaketi's going to make his way into the box. Oh, thunder strike for Shaketi. He's on the... Oh, uh. Everything was happening too fast. It's going to be a throw for the Rovers. Pashalic. Oh, what a goal from Pashalic. What a goal. What a goal. That's all I can say. He curled it in from distance and it was just out of Truchin's reach. What a goal. Gotcha. No, it was going to be a Demi with the assist. Oh, we're in the perfect angle. Gotcha. Sent it in. A Demi. Laid it off to Pashalic. And Pashalic. It's 1-4 to four right now. And we're... At the end of the first half, there's still 45 minutes left to play. Oh, this is a classic. Dragos. Pulled one back and it looked to be very interesting when Tom Price headed it in. What a pass that was from Fernando Rodriguez as well. And then unfortunately a defensive error from Dragoš there. Kiris finally got their first goal. Excuse me. In their career. So how about that? A brilliant pass in from Pashalic to Ademi. Ademi had got his second goal there. And then the last goal we saw there. What a goal from Pashalic through the crowd of defenders there. Curled it right past, right into that bottom pocket. Excellent stuff from the Rovers today. And all right, what what does the second half has in store for us? Let's see. Alif Imran. Dragoish, if they can pull this back somehow, that'll be the greatest miracle of all time, hands down. Lakaka touch from Garcha. Although, I can't really say that. Lukaku has been having a massive season today. Or not today, <laughs> this season. <laughs> Ferdinand. Come on, Dragos. Good pass. Good pass from Ramirez to Ferdinand. Ferdinand. Oh. Imran fell to his knees. 
Crazy? I was crazy once. Oh god, no, please no. Don't start that now. Fernand. Decent effort from Tom Price, but he couldn't keep it down. Imran is going to come out for Majic. Early sub here. Mohamed. Mohamed Zain Kalyan. Good to see you, man. I don't think I've seen you in the chat before. Happy to have you with us. Jojo. Gonna be a bit of a foul there. Fernando Rodriguez to Garrett Hart. Garrett, uh, Garrett Hart maybe should have done a bit better there, but that's okay. Bishalich tries to find through to, I think that was Jojo actually. Is that Jojo? No, I don't think so. I think that's Lee Ji Hoon. Yeah, it was Lee Ji Hoon who was making his way forward. Fernand. Oh, oh, great header from Tom Price, but Cass was at the right place at the right time. He denied Tom Price a goal there. Good recovery from Pedro Cruz. Garrett Hart now. Oh, good stuff from Ramirez. Ramirez is going to cut inside. He finds Tom Price. Tom Price. Ah, oh. It was going to be really difficult to get a strike from there with the crowd of people. Alex Anderson now. Good stuff from Rayo Kirs. And a good tackle from Alex Anderson. That's what Dragos need now. They need to really push it. Has the defender of BPS ever scored? Yes. Uh, Martin Cassandro, way back in the day. Dragoish defender, he scored off of a free kick. That's the first one that I can think off the top of my head. Um, who else? Has has Betis scored? I think Betis has scored. Um, let's see. Hmm, I don't know. Well, so probably the VPSA historian can probably pull that up for you. Majic. Uh, ah, that gosh, they can't be doing that. Oh, Lee Ji Hoon's on the ground. I think he's okay, though. Bet he scored by own goals. <laughs> yeah, true, I guess. Yeah, that is true. That is true. Is crazy. Crazy? I was crazy once. They locked me in a room. A rubber room. I think that's how it goes. Oh yeah, by the way, uh, do you know when the uh, Anguilla Premier League, I don't know the name of the league, do you know when the Anguilla First Division starts up again? I want to make sure I catch my, my lovely West End Predators and cheer them on. The GOAT, uh, what was his name? He's from Dominica. What was his name? Yellow card for Pashalic. Axel scored. Really? I don't remember that. I, I would remember that, I think. But maybe. Oh, it falls through to Ferdinand. This could be good for Dragos. Oh. <laughs> oh my god, Judge. Oh. What IRL team do you support, Saki? I don't really support one, actually. I would support one, like my local team in the United States, but there is no grassroots football, so there isn't really anybody to support. I guess I support the U.S. men's national team, but meh. And then also the women's national team. Um, but other than that, not really. Like, I'll, I'll keep up with, like, American footballers abroad. But that's it. And not even, like, to a big, 
detail anyways. I'm, I'm not like the biggest fan. Um, but more more than anything, I really like like the social aspect of football. Like like the uh, like the culture around it, you know, like how people can get so tied to their football team and like how how like culture can be created from that. Like like for example, I remember I, I saw this documentary, this really interesting documentary of a of a football team in the lower leagues of England that unfortunately went completely bankrupt because of the COVID nineteen pandemic. And they were like interviewing like the club and like the people who worked there and like how important it was for like the the town's identity, you know, like because it, it the football team carried their town's name and you know like it, the the ticket revenues and the uh, like the people who would come visit the matches from like away fans would help like local businesses. So I love I like that aspect of it like a lot, like the like the uh like the social aspect because that that is my background so so i like i like the idea of like blending that together but yeah west end predators some somewhere in november okay so it's coming up pretty soon okay 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 let's see yeah what was his name he was the goat uh where is he let me pull up my west end predators website uh but I remember from the live stream that I tuned in, he was, like, particularly good. And then that one kid as well who played on the wing, he was really good as well. Uh, but I don't remember his name. But, yeah, see, I've got my team. I, if, I, if I could say I support a team, I would say West End Predators for life. I was born, I live, and I would die for West End Predators Football Club. Ooh, Shaketi, Shaketi. Oh my goodness, that could have very easily been their fifth goal. But it curled just out of reach. Fernando Rodriguez has come off for Moretti. Barry? Uh, was it Barry? It was, it was, um... Hmm, I think it was Macclesfield actually, because I think, I think the t uh, the time that they dissolved must have been 2020 or 2021. They have a new club now, but you know it's obviously not the same. They lost like, they lost their position high up. But I think it was Macclesfield actually. We all know Saki hates Ipswich Town. Nah, man, Millwall. Are you kidding me, Millwall? <laughs> Who am I kidding? I don't know. I don't know any. I don't know. I don't follow that. All I know is uh, Blackburn Rovers. I know because they used to be pretty good in the '90s, and also Brad Friedel used to be a goalkeeper for them back in like 2007. He was an American goalkeeper, and he was the goat for Blackburn Rovers back when Blackburn played in the Premier League. Uh, who else? Mm, what other English team in the championship? Obviously Coventry City. Ooh, Shaketi hit the post. I've, I've stopped narrating the match. I've just been kind of talk. Well, it's okay. We can have these conversations. <coughs> Excuse me. You should support my home team, Saki. Interesting. Yeah, I, I, above anything, like, I would love to support, like, a, a grassroots football team. But here in the United States, we barely have a grassroots element. And when it comes to, like, amateur leagues, it's really funny because, like, if you went to support an amateur team, people would think you're crazy. Because the only people who would ever tune in for those matches are just, like, family and friends. Like, there's no reason why somebody, like... There's no reason why you should support that team if it means, like, they're, like, your local neighborhood team. It's, like, ridiculous. So it, there's not really that grassroots elements here in the United States. Which sucks. I wish there was. Oh, someone's on the ground here. Referee calls for the medical staff. It'll be Hannibal Jojo. Ooh, yeah, that was a rough... That was rough. 
We'll see how he turns out. And he's good to go, so not a problem. Oh, someone's on the ground again. Oh, this time it's Majic. Man, it's, it's gotten violent. He is also going to be stretched off, so we'll see what the poor medical staff are working overtime today. But yeah, we'll see, we'll see how, he, how he is. And he's good to go as well. So, yeah, no harm, no foul. Just a little bit of a scare. Ademi lays it up to Gacha. And Gacha's going to move in. Right at Tucci. Is there a cool uni team for football? Um, Stanford had, has a good team. That's where Jordan Morris was from. But unfortunately, Jordan Morris isn't that good. But he was massive for, for his college team, I remember. Uh, so yeah, Stanford Cardinals, they have a good team. Stanford University. Uh, who else? Mm, gotcha. Uh, Wake Forest has a good uni team as well. Both men's and women's program. Shikedi, get it out, please. But yeah, I know Wake Forest has a good one too as well. Uh, Wake Forest is in North Carolina, uh, or South Carolina, I don't remember, but they have, they have a good one too. And obviously Scott Sterling, we can't for it, forget him, he's the GOAT. Ooh, the free kick was off the post from Jafari Blackwood. But yeah, uh, Scott Sterling, college legend, he played for his football team and his uh, volleyball team, so that is skill you can't deny. Doesn't matter if he's on a rival team. That is talent you have to tip your hat at. Penn State? I don't know. I don't know Penn State. But all I know is Stanford and Wake Forest have good teams. Or good programs at least. But the referee blows to signal the end of the half. The end of the game. What am I talking about? And Rovers will get a massive victory over Dragoish. All the action was in the first half. The second half was kind of a bit of a formality. But yeah, Scott Sterling is a true legend. I couldn't agree more. Yeah, let's see, what other team? I know, I know in the north of the United States, it's less about football and more about hockey. There's good hockey teams. Uh, I know Canadian university teams have good hockey teams. Who else? Who else? And I won't forget subreading, subreading, subreading. So I won't forget him. I won't forget him. Saki, thoughts on Narch City? Uh, Te Mupuki played for them, I think. He plays in the US now. Te Mupuki. Good player. Uh, what are the Narch players? I don't know actually, I don't know much about Narch. I know it's Temu Fuki. Oh, that could have been a second goal for Dragosh. Jafari Blackwood's free kick. Oh, and Kask, Kask got a good taste of the post. Again, the song was in sync with, with the, uh, well, kind of. It was in sync with the end of the match. And look at that action. But yeah, man of the match was given to Pushalic. Fernando Rodriguez had a good game as well for Dragosh. Unfortunately, it was a bad result. Here are the sub ratings. Majic with the 5.5. Ali with the 5.5. Moretti with the 6.5. Kent with the 5.5. And Novak with no rating because he was subbed on pretty late. Let's see, what other English players, or players in English League? I, I, I followed Markham for a bit. Back when they were in League 2, they got promoted to League 1, but they're back in League 2 now. I think they're like mid-table. But yeah, the GOAT, Barry Roche. 
He was like goalkeeper for Morecambe for like 10 years, something crazy like that. But yeah, he was the GOAT. Jim Bentley was also a GOAT in the defense, but then he became coach and he wasn't that good. Well, I mean, he was good, but he was pretty bang average. Uh, yeah, so I think, let's see, what do you guys think? Garcha, Pashalic, Pashalic, Pashalic. See, Ademi did have a good game as well today. Hmm. What does the game say for Pashalic? He was all over the pitch. Missed a few passes, but he did pitch in an assist. So, okay, sure, yeah. And he provided, uh, let's see, but Ademi did score two and, and give an assist. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I will. I think I will give it to. Mm, I don't know. Poor Ademi's like, please, sir, please, give me one, please. Uh, legit, I don't know who to pick. People, people are saying, people. Fred said Gacha. People said Pashalic. <laughs> Joao's speaking nonsense. Oh, he's muted. Oh yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll go ahead and take a look at that. Uh. Ademi. But yeah, I'll go ahead and unmute Joel. There we go. Oh, he lost all of his rolls. That's rough. Rip. Here, let me go ahead and give him back. <laughs> hold on, set. Hold on, folks. We got a bit of a we got a bit of a situation going on here. Let me see if I can just bring him back. Oh yeah, by the way, how's the uh, pro clubs? How's that coming along? I I don't have I don't have EFC or whatever whatever it's called. Uh but Yeah, how's that coming along? How how are the lads doing? How's the experience? There we go. Is Pashalic and Ademi? All right, I will give it to I don't know. I'll just I will give it to Ademi. Just, just for, just to, so we can move on. So I'm not stuck here forever. All right, two matches down. Let's move on to the third one. Oh, I gotta ping the teams. Oh, there's so many, so many messages. I, I won't have a chance to read all of them, unfortunately. But next up, we have Rios. Against the Eagles. So we're going to have to switch stadiums as well. So let me kick the music back in. This is a massive match for both of these teams. They're languishing towards the bottom. So a victory will be very, very helpful for them. It is our time. Corona says it is time, so we'll see whose time it really is. Oh yeah, I was gonna check out who who the player I was thinking of. There we go, Alcindor. 
Roy Alcindor, he's the GOAT. The GOAT! For West End Predators. It says here that he's a goalkeeper, but in the live stream, I saw him playing as a defender and then a midfielder, so he really is the GOAT. He can play anywhere. But yeah, I'm hoping, I'm hoping for a Roy Alcindor masterclass this season. Oh, social media? They have a, they have an Instagram? Oh, it's just, a, it's just, it's just the picture. That's so rough. I was, I was gonna follow him in a heartbeat. But yeah, Kay, if you're out there, please let the people of West End Predators know that they need social media ASAP because I would follow it and I would even put it on the ad boards. Not gonna lie, for the VPSA. underway Zef he's watching this match with excellent anticipation I'm sure of it so this is gonna be a massive match as well a big three points for whoever's able to win this match neither team will want to go home with a draw Good recovery from Bobo. Chad Champion. Petty Jensen. He finds No-No in the box. No-No. Good save. The follow-up. Good stuff. I think that was Espolon. I gotta scoop my chair in for this one. <laughs> oh my god, there's a bug there. Oh my god, get out of here. No one wants you here. Jesus Christ, scared the crap out of me. Kapeski. Get it out. Good stuff. It's also freezing in here, but not to worry because I have my massive sweater. My grandma, my grandma gave me this sweater. Grandma took a big dub there because this thing is so comfy and so cozy. It's like I'm wearing a giant like like a giant blanket and it's super thick. So yeah, if you're if you find yourself in the colder areas of the world, highly recommend if you don't have one already. I don't even know I don't even know the material. It's like just pure cotton, I think. And it's like layers. JJ. Jensen. Looks like the Eagles are starting off strong so far. These first 10 minutes or so. Wachini was shoved away. Oops, I just bumped my mic. Sorry, guys. Alessio with this new cut. Oh. Alessio went to the barber shop and he got an awesome haircut. Unfortunately, it looks like the barber also cut his toes off. That one was selling well wide. Here's Chad Champion. He finds Alessio. Ooh. And Brathwaite had to deviate Alessio's strike. So it's going to be out for a corner. Stevie Wonder. Oh, great strike from distance, Alessio. He finds Bobo. Bobo puts it in. He finally scores his goal. His first goal in a Royals jersey. You love to see it. Bobo has worked so hard for this. And he's finally got it. Alessio will get an assist on that one. It's 
the 13th minute, Royals are up 1 0. Goal scored by Bobo. You love to see it, you love to see it. There's still plenty of match to play, so we'll see how the rest develops. Bobo is just offside. What a pass that would have been. Good recovery. Great recovery from Espolón. JJ finds his way with the ball again. Here's Zeffi. Good old Zeffi. Lays it back to Bocchini. Bocchini didn't know no. Nono's going to push it out wide to Kopeski. Kopeski's going to run to it. Kopeski's going to send it in. And a good clearance from the defense. It's headed on. The pressure's still on. Simoy Jurko Juricic with the ball. Back to Anderson. Forward to Bocchini. Back to Peters. Back to Robert Anderson. Robert Anderson's going to push it all the way back to Brathwaite. Peters. Kopeski. Finds Bocchini, they love playing through the middle there, the Eagles. He finds Nono, the GOAT. I wonder how Nono's doing from his ailment. Royals have won the ball back. Bayo, back to Oliveira. Montero Diaz. Oh, great pass to Bayo. Bayo's going to send this one in, surely. No, he cuts back to Montero Diaz. Oh, and Brathwaite had to punch it out. It's going to be a corner. Stevie Wonder. Cardoso finds the ball again. Chad Champion. Oh, Chad Champion was shoved away there. No foul, says the ref. And Alessio's fighting for that one. He wins it back. That haircut is doing miracles. And a very interesting clearance from Robert Anderson. It's going to be another corner. Stevie Wonder. And Bale's header is well over the bar. And it's out for a goal kick. Oh, Chad Champion. Here come the Royals again. Oh, good stuff from Shimoy. Cardoso. Oh, it fell a bit there. Luckily, Brathwaite was on guard. Oslo have two solid defenders named Pablo. Yes, sir. Oh, bit of a mishap from Broadhead, but not to worry because Espolón is on it. Espolón's been having a great game today. That's what you love to see, though, in case of an error. Teammates are ready to help. Stevie Wonder. Oh, somebody fell. It was Alessio. Brathwaite's going to collect it. Eagles have struggled a bit in the back. An interesting idea, but nobody was there. I wonder if we'll see a goalkeeper score. When will that happen? For a time, Kabidi was on penalty kicks. But yeah, I would love to see that, not gonna lie. JJ, this could be good for the Eagles. Oh, great save. Great save from Guayco to push it out. He read it well. He deviates it out for a corner. Corner for the Eagles. This could be a good chance to find an equalizer. JJ. Good header away.
Oh, this time Espelon commits a foul. Bobo. Oh, he pushes it forward to Chad Champion. Chad Champion's in the box. It was a great strike, but a really great uh, defensive work from Shimo Yuko Ryuricic. Desperate clearance. Kabiri is going to score. We'll see. That's going to be so hyped, though, when a goalkeeper scores. No, no. Oh, no, no. Oh, good stuff from Montero Diaz. Bobo. Bobo pushes it wide again to Jack Champion. I really like that play that they're doing. Alessio. Chad Champion. Oh, Shimoy does well there. Unfortunate for Espolon. Eagles are taking a more attacking approach. Zephy. Should be a free kick. Alessio, Royals are moving up now. Oh, Alessio's through! The follow-up almost. Bale couldn't get to it, unfortunately. Alessio almost with a massive individual effort there. Really great start from Alessio today. Montero Diaz is having an amazing first season. Absolutely. Same thing with uh, Broadhead. Aaron Broadhead. Yeah, those are some excellent signings there. Rookies. Yeah, Montero Diaz has adapted himself very nicely into that left back position. Or right back. I don't remember. But the idea is that he's playing as a side back. He's playing as right back because Cardoso is left back. We're just about ready to wrap up this first half. Ooh, Chad Champion intercepts a pass from Brathwaite. Chad Champion. Chad Champion finds Alessio. Ah. Alessio tried to cut it in, but I think he should have gone for it himself. But we're going to go to the break with a temporary Royals win. It's 1-0 for them. Drago Stadinte, nice. Let's head into the second half. Royals have a bit more uh, a presence in the final third. Eagles sharing just a tad bit more of the, uh, the possession. 
But yeah, let's see what the second half is all about. Oh, damn. First win of the season. Hope it didn't jinx it. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. We'll see. We'll see. We're underway. Alessio with the ball down the wing. Oh, it finds Chad Champion. Somehow Chad Champion got a chance there. But unfortunately, didn't really have much conviction to it. So it's an easy save for Brathwaite. Passing from the Eagles. Bocchini to JJ. Gonzalez. He has Zeffi on his side there. Oh, I should have given it to Zeffi. Good pass to Zeffi. Good cross in. Royals deal with it well there. But good effort from Zeffi. Ooh, we got shoved to the ground. Nasty shove. Good recovery from Stevie Wonder. Stevie Wonder, what a player he has been for the Royals. Reminder that he used to play in the Eagles. He was snapped up by the Royals for his good performances. And he's really fit himself well into this Royals team. Oliveira solid. D -d 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 yes, sir. I agree. As long as players are improving, they'll, they'll, they'll always be solid. Because the minute they stop improving, they fall behind the rest of the pack. Good stuff from Broadhead. Good anticipation. They've won the ball back. Good tackle from Nono. That was a bit rough. I don't think the referee. I don't think the referee made a good call there. I don't think that was a foul at all, actually. But I'm not the referee. Ooh, JJ. Ooh, very steel. A heart of steel from. Um, Broadhead. And Cardoso is going to move up for the attack. Cardoso. I like the system that the Royals have at the moment because they go for it in the attack. And usually they'll have someone who's like sitting back to await like a a clearance and it'll have a strike from distance and once it takes a deflection it could go anywhere
Oh, the ball. The ball. Oh, oh, I was going to say the ball fell to Petty Edson there. He couldn't keep it under control, though. And no, no strike is off target, unfortunately. Chad Champion is going to be subbed off for hiking. He looks exhausted. So hiking is enters the fray. Love that band. There's Jensen. Another sub. Bales off her Bracula. Rookie forward. That's his second appearance, I think, for the Royals. Good clearance. No, no. Ah, oh, that one really didn't have much accuracy from JJ. It was pretty underwhelming. But they'll need to act fast if they want to get an equalizer and rescue something from this match. Especially uh, considering that, like I said before, these two teams are sort of languishing towards the bottom. Three points would be huge for either team, but a loss would not be good. Especially since also this is the ninth match of this well, ninth match day of the season, so we're, we're slowly but surely wrapping everything up. And Alessio's gonna be unchallenged. Oh, good save. Ah, uh, Alessio Simeone. I think Stevie Wonder maybe should have just pulled it back, not gone for the strike. Last sub for the Royals, Broadhead is off for Vargas. And I think that was Nono who's come off for Trish. Good pass to Zephy. Zephy's in the box. Oh, that one was floating off target. But a good effort, and that's what they'll need. They'll need more of that. Gonzalez is off for Law. Lots of subs going on here. Alessio again. Still Alessio. Grish finds Law on the wing. New players are on the pitch now, so they'll offer a bit more fitness. Jensen. <gasps> Ooh, that was a good effort. That was a great idea from Jensen. Just crawl it into the box. But unfortunately, nobody was there to meet him. JJ, Jensen. Oh, and La Montero Diaz is going to get into it for a bit. Oh, it's a free kick for the Eagles right at the edge of the box. And unfortunately, they really bungled that one. The poor guy got in the way of the strike. That one could have definitely been dangerous. Montero Diaz. Back to Guayco. Vargas. Cardoso. Haikin. Good old Alessio. Espolón. He goes on it back. Oh, great pass to Jensen. He is looking a bit leggy though. Back to JJ. And Montero Diaz is on it. Oh, 
you know what? The Eagles might be able to snap it back here. Law. Law cuts in. Good save from Gwadko. He covers the post. Yep, you see his teammates there. Really happy for him. He's on guard. The defense will be vital now if uh, if the Royals want to see this match out as the winners. Corona is now on the pitch. So, I'll, we'll see. Corona, what, what will he do? So they've settled into a more defensive role, the Royals, whereas the Eagles are really trying to gun it, gun it for it, or gun it, I guess. I don't know what I, what I was saying. Alessio finds Stevie Wonder. He's going to push it through to Bobo. Ooh, that has got to be a red card, maybe. Nope. I thought it was going to be a red card. He was through on goal. Yeah. That that could have very easily been a red, you know. That could have very easily been a red. The ref was very lenient on that one. Krish basically denied Bobo from a goal scoring opportunity. So I don't know. Bocchini. Zeffi, Zeffi, good clearance. Corona, Corona, Corona scores! He got subbed on, and he's put it into the back of the net. He's rescued a point for the Eagles. New Corona edit incoming. When they needed him most, he stepped up to the challenge. Oh, what a goal. Right in the top corner. I think any goalkeeper was going to have a hard time getting to that one. And it's 1-1. Heartbreak for the Royals. Oh, the Royals look to be attacking here, though. Bobo. Ooh. Bobo there had a strike go right over the bar. I'm such an idiot. What's Corona's first name? Let me check on the website real quick. Antonio. Okay, I was right. Bocchini, good interception from Montero Diaz, free kick for the Royals, They'll need to act now, the Royals. And it's ended there. Royals were leading for most of the match. And Antonio Corona to the rescue has rescued a point for the Eagles in what would have been a devastating loss.
He jinxed it. I told you, man, we have a history of curses in this league and you didn't listen. <laughs> it's okay. There he is. Corona with the heroics. Alright, men of the match. Who will be men of the match? Lots of action as well. Man, we've been having a lot of strikes today. <laughs> I'd love to see it. Espolon was getting man of the match. That's very valid. Here are the subs. Hiking with the 5.5. Bracky with the 5.5. Vargas with the 6. Krij with the 6. Law with the 6. And Corona with the 7. Espolon was really good today. We might even consider Corona for his heroics. But it's man of the match, I think. It's not man of the 14 minutes or something like that. But we'll see. What do you guys think? Zephy's adamant that Corona should win the man of the match. What do you guys think? Let me know, let me know. We have Alessio, Corona, Bobo. Fred says Corona. Penbert says Corona. Hmm. Corona. I would love to give it to Corona, guys, but... I mean, he wasn't on the pitch for that long either. I mean, man of the match... Ah, I don't know, this is so hard. Because he, he... I mean, he really did put it into the back of the net. Let's see, let me take a look at Espolon's stats. Because that's who I had in mind. Before Corona came and wrecked havoc people were saying Alessio as well but he was very active as well Alessio was having a massive match today as well massive massive match 276 meters holy holy that's that's a record I think he he was everywhere. That injury did not phase him in one one bit. Hmm, Alessio is a good pick as well. Yeah, Alessio was having a good game today, but Corona just hit the dagger. Hmm. I mean, yeah, Alessio was super, super active. He was massive today. But again, Corona completely dashed Royals dreams today. So yeah, I think I will give it to Alessio. You're welcome you're welcome to uh throw me under the bus and say Corona got robbed. I'm willing to take the brunt. Let me have it. I can take it. All right. Let's move on to our last match today.
Oh wait, I need to ping the teams. Last matchup, we have Norfolk to face Leyenda. Let me ping the teams. Got to go, Sack. You have a good one. Always happy to have you here, Alessio. Sorry about Royals, but I think you guys still had a good performance, so there should be nothing to worry about. Especially with you at the um, at the helm. So yeah, still a good performance for the Royals. So yeah, take care, Alessio. Thanks for thanks for stopping by. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Oh, there you are. Can't wait for another Javid injury. Man, he had a broken heart. He forgot his keys at home. Well, there's some massive injuries. Hopefully he doesn't face any today. Look at that, Schneider went to the plastic surgeon as well. Man, the VPSA plastic surgeon has been having some good business recently. Schneider's looking like an 80s cop. <laughs> Final match for the VPL today. Norfolk versus Leyenda. Both of these teams will also want to win this match. It's very interesting. The top four teams faced each other off, and now the bottom four teams are facing each other off. So we'll definitely see some changes in the standings. Now I'll be really curious to see how the league title is going to look, because the Griffins have dropped points. Good pass to Ayodele. All right, and that's that. Oh, what a pass from Agatelli. He loves hitting it into the sky. Watch out with Denise. He's made of... He's, his bones are made of glass and his skin's made out of paper. Glass bones and paper skin. Like the guy from Spongebob. Alright, bet. How much, how much Pez points are we willing to bet that Denise gets injured today? Guest was offside there. A little too late to the party, our guest. Past the guest. Oh, good stuff from. Oh. 
I thought Sanchez was going to keep it in, but unfortunately, he, that one blade of grass got in the way. Do we add it? All the way to Bile. Good dribbling from Bile. This is good for Leyenda. Ooh, nasty tackle by Delis. He's not going to be injured today. He's going to be the one doing the injuries. Ayodele with the deflected strike. It's going to be with Jeremiah and Ford. did that's with Ramiro who did score last time he's finally on the board for his Leyenda team after having moved from Dragoish oh what a pass what a pass from Ayodele. Unfortunately, Guess couldn't get to it, but what a pass. He just flicked it with his the top of his head with his hair. Leao. Oh, he's in the box. Easy save for Schneider. That's what you want to see from him. His plastic surgery is doing him well. Oh, <laughs> Sanchez lost track of the ball there. Luckily, they're still with it. Oh, what a pass from Paquet to Guest. Guest nods it on. Good cross. Ayodele. Norfolk are playing very nicely so far. Depression is written all over Norfolk Stadium. Why is it place so gloomy and gray? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's because it's cloudy, but then again I didn't I didn't do snowy last time, so I don't know. Hopefully this isn't the place where dreams go to die. That's really sad. Denise fell to the ground. Oh boy, I hope he's not injured. Ayodele. Oh, what a pass to Paquet. Oh. Good, uh, good stuff from uh, Harnash to come out and punch the ball away. Here's Guest. Good clearance. Yeah, so you know like Sunderland Stadium of Light, this is the Stadium of Dark. I like the gray. Yeah. That's that's literally my entire wardrobe, man. I just have all black clothes and gray clothes. 
and like my jewelry is like all black too so I like it too man Fernandes to Jesus good stuff from Sanchez who texted me oh it's the results for the matches for Premier League don't text me at this hour don't you know that I'm busy watching virtual football with the lads Good passing here from Leyenda. Demarcus Jr. Demarcus, great pass to Ayadeli. Ayadeli. Ooh, good intervention from Aduya Dead. Was falling there. Oh, great pass from Paquita to Ayodeli. Ayodeli cuts in. He's still going, Ayodeli. Bilet gets in the way. It's still with Norfolk. Jeremiah in four. Back to DeMarcus. Anthony Cole, who is on, is in the starting lineup now. DeMarcus. DeMarcus is in the box. DeMarcus. 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 I don't. Somehow Norfolk didn't score from that. DeMarcus was going on an amazing run. And somehow they didn't score. That is unbelievable. Really lucky from Leenda. Here comes Ayadeli again. McGee. Oh, poor pass from McGee. Ayadeli. Norfolk looked keen on getting that first goal before... Oh my goodness, we're already almost at the end of the first half. McGee. All the way back to Sanchez. They've lost it in the midfield. It's back with Leyenda. Jermaine for it. Oh, he runs into Liao and he's lost it. We're, uh, uh, we're in the break. No goals. It's been a pretty quiet game so far. Norfolk have had the more chances than uh, Leyenda. Norfolk should have scored from that. Somehow they didn't. Yeah, I think it's repeating.
Yep, that's Demarcus's effort. Ah, oh, how did Ayadeli not score from there? All right. We're underway, the last 45 minutes of the VPL stream today. And actually of the weekend, because tomorrow we have our cup matches, and it'll be just that. Ayodeli. What a ball to Jesus, who's mega fast. Look at him go. My boy's really fast. Oh, but he's lost it. Sam sends it in. Good clearance. Good clearance. Oh, it's going to be a free kick for Lien and a good position. Sam stands over it. He's very dangerous. Luckily for Norfolk this time, he sends it over the bar. Look at those fans with those three animation cycles. They're having, they're living it up. They love it. Denise has not been injured yet. This is amazing. Ramiro back to Denise. A good passing here from Leyenda. Sam. Sam. And good stuff from... Uh, I think that was Jeremiah in four. Nope. Anthony Cole. Marcus back to Jeremiah in four. Whoa. <laughs> Gee, Jeremiah in four broke Ramiro's ankles. Oh, I'm going to need a clip of that. He sent my boy to the moon. Oh, you know what we need to do? We need to uh, do an edit where it's like the, the edit where he gets like sent like the, what's it called? The shooting stars edit. That's such an old meme at this point. That would be hilarious. Ramiro got scooted to the space. He broke his ankles. McGee. Sanchez. Good stuff from Gabi. Captain Gabi. Oh, another attack from Denise. This one's going to be yellow card for sure. Yep, he was warned before, so it's only fair that he didn't heed the warning and he's going to be booked. Now has come off for Patrick Rodriguez for Leenda. It's a bit of an attacking uh, substitution there. Here's Demarcus. Demarcus Jr. Harnash. Collects it nicely in his hands. There he is, Patrick Rodriguez. Mick Wells. Wells also been subbed on.
Demarcus Jr. Oh, good effort. Demarcus Jr. has really been fitting nicely into the Norfolk team. I'm really happy with the way he's been developing. So hopefully we can see more from him. Oh, Ayadeli. Ayadeli wins it back. Oh, Demarcus Jr. with the poor pass. Oh, Demarcus Jr. Good pass this time, McGee. Ortiz. Guest is in the box. Ah, uh, Guest should have put more power on it. A bit timid on the strike. Good intervention from Anthony Cole. Running into the defense is always going to be hard to get past. Also, very interesting. Notice how I don't think in all of the matches we've ever seen for the VPSA, there's never been any, like, graphical bugs. Like, where the ball gets stuck to, like, a leg or, like, there's an invisible player. So, it's been pretty robust. I guess maybe the only bugs are in, like, in tactics when, like, the defense just won't clear the ball for some reason. But yeah, it really has stood up this game, which is good to see. I like it. I like it when games like can stay like as the years go by, like they don't get boring. Like kind of like with my FIFA 08 game, which is old at this point. Which is weird to say. <laughs> but yeah, it is old. <gasps> get it out! They are able to get it out, Lee, and they get their goal. A bit of a fumble in the defense. And Patrick Rodriguez taps it in. Very unfortunate from Norfolk again. They hit Schneider's back. Patrick Rodriguez hits it with his head. And it's 1 0 Leyenda. Well, 0 1, I guess. Whoop. What the heck? Is my cap stuck on again? No, I'm just being stupid. That's fair. McGee to Guest. Guest! Again, he had a strike, but again, no real direction on it. It was just kind of belting it straight at the goalkeeper. Oh, I'm also so hyped. The Freddy Five Nights at Freddy's movie comes out in six days. I'm so hyped. I hope it's not, like, bad. All my friends are going to go watch it, so. What's the closest movie theater to here? I don't even know. Let me see. Sam! And Schneider collects it. Crocodile Alligator. Okay, there's one pretty close to here. Gabi Ramiro. Jermaine Four looking to challenge him. Oh, Tyon Dwayne's all the way through. Oh, he got fouled by Santos. Right at the edge of the box. The mark is going to come off for Capito. 
Sam stands over it. Easily for Schneider to collect. Time is of the essence now for Norfolk. The last few minutes of the match. Robert Grimes back to Becker. Over to Jeremiah in four. Santos. Ortiz now. He finds Guest. And easily taken away from Fernandez. Who is then fouled. It's going to be a free kick for Leyenda. Norfolk do not need that. They can't afford to hand over possession like that. Switching it to Sanchez. Capito. Easily, easily for Tyon Dwayne to deal with. Oh, but Ortiz wins it back. Ortiz. Ortiz is through. Ortiz. Oh. He really should have done better there. That was their golden opportunity to set things straight. But Tuli Ortiz with not the prettiest strike. Nash plays it short to Aguilla Dead. Ortiz with the ball again. To Becker, Santos, Capito. Good stuff again from Tyon Dwayne. Linda had been playing a good game today. Oh, Tyon Dwayne's on the ground. McKee's going to be booked. Oh, and he's going to have to be stretched off. I don't think they have any subs left. So he, he might be forced to play if he if he does have an injury. No, he's good to go. This is it. One last push for Norfolk here. Capito. Capito cuts in. Capito's in. Oh, Capito. It was his for the taking, and he really didn't hit it that well. That might have been it. It is it. Leyenda will take their three points today. A massive victory against Norfolk. And that concludes our VPL matches for this week. Denise did not get injured. He was actually out for Venom, really. He was the one out for Venom. But yes, the one goal that has handed Leyenda a victory today comes at the hands, well, really, like at the shoulder, I guess, of Patrick L Rodriguez. Norfolk had a few chances at the end there to equalize it, but... It just wasn't meant to be. This one, the clearest one, I think. Somehow Capito didn't capitalize on it. All right. Let's see, man of the match. I was given to a sub, here are subs. Ortiz, 6.5, Santos with the 6.0, Capito with the 6, Wells, McWells with the 5.5, Patrick Rodriguez with the 7.5, and Tyon Duane with the 6.5. I think I will give it to Demarcus Jr. He had a massive game today. And I don't, can't really think of anybody else. 
he was solid in this game for Norfolk. Unfortunate that he ate, that his work couldn't bring his team a victory. But definitely still a commendable performance from him. And that will do it for today. That's all. Um, let me let me get my Discord out of the way. Yep. What a stream it was today. Um, really happy with the way it turned out. Always happy to have you guys around. Um, and yeah, if you'd like, I'll be doing the VCL matches right now. I'm going to take a bit of a break and then I'll be right back at it. Um, and yeah, thank you guys so much for tuning in as always. Uh, again, if you'd like to tune in for the VCL matches, I'll be right here. And then, of course, we have our cup matches tomorrow. So if you're also interested in seeing that, we'll have Leyenda face Rovers and Eshdahan face the Royals. So, yep. Yeah, that's all for today. Take care, guys. And, yeah. Have, have, a, have a great rest of your day. Thanks for tuning in, as always. Lots of love. And uh, take it easy.